My faith growing up, it was always kind of there, but never really a huge part of my life or never really a super strong part of my being. Um, that said, I, I've always been a Christian person and I've always felt like I've believed in Jesus Christ as my savior, but I never had some big epiphany or some big day that I can clear, clearly remember where it happened for me that I, that I first called Jesus my savior. Uh, growing up, we went to church where uh, it was very rulesy and it was never really fulfilling for me and I don't think it was very fulfilling for any of our family either. Um, and so we did that with a couple different churches throughout, uh, over the years and finally we kind of stumbled upon RCC. My mom pretty much decided that she wanted us to go to church like every Sunday and none of us really wanted to so I kind of felt like I was dragged there and so because of that I really resented church and I never really like sought out a relationship with Jesus because I just felt like it was so forced and I felt like I had to like I don't know follow these rules or do something that I didn't want to do. Growing up I was really motivated by like being successful and the way that that manifested a lot was through track and cross country because I was really into distance running um, and so I really wanted to be the best and as far back as I remember I was just like a really hard worker and I just had to be like this go-getter and I felt like that was kind of my identity was like a hard worker, a fast runner, and just like needing to prove myself to other people and just needing to be the best. Then in college I really got into like making a lot of money and really wanting to kind of pursue like worldly things and I was really into materialism and that gave me like fulfillment. So the breaking point for me came from that job. Um, I was running my own business and I was working endless hours just non-stop, like on call 24-7. Um, I would compare myself to my peers because they were very, very driven and they were succeeding much more than I was. So I constantly felt like a failure when I looked at what other people were doing. Um, and overall, I just, I got in my head a lot and I just had like this negative self-talk and I was, I was just spiraling out of control. Um, through that, that job also introduced me to alcohol and drinking. So I would use that as like a filler for not feeling good enough. And I just found myself getting really like depressed and not happy with what I was doing and who I was becoming. Even though it's weird because at the same time I was very successful in a career and making good money which I never made before. And so it was this really confusing time where nothing really made sense and everything was just kind of feeling like it was spiraling out of control. And so that's kind of the, the breaking point. So to me, Jesus, like I mentioned, has already been part, has always been part of my life. Um, he's always been my savior, but only till since recently has he really, have I really become in a, in a relationship with him or uh, been in a very strong relationship with him, I feel. What led me to Jesus was a combination of everything that just happened and then Johnny here. So I would be telling him about stuff because he was working with the same company and he understood like what I was all going through. Um, and I would be venting about things and just complaining all the time. And um, at one point he was sitting on my couch and he's like, have you ever tried praying about these things? And I was like, you're so annoying. Like, I'm not, what, why would I try that? Even though I, I was annoyed by his question about have I ever prayed about this before? I also saw something in him that was not in me clearly because I was just complaining all the time and, and all that kind of stuff. So I got curious. I was really like, okay, what is this? Like, is it the faith in Johnny or is it him as a person? Like, I didn't really understand what was all going on, but I thought it was worth looking into. So I think since Kelly, uh, telling Kate about my faith, uh, it's really just strengthened it because it was, to my knowledge, really the first time that I encouraged someone else to grow in their faith. And so I kind of forced me at that point, once I told <laughs> someone else to do it, uh, that I should probably do it too. So um, <laughs> that said, once I told Kate about Jesus and she started praying and, and really developing a relationship with Jesus, um, it, it kind of, we both kind of saw it as a miracle because um, in Matthew, Jesus calls out to Simon Peter and Andrew saying, 
go be fishers of people. And so um, it, it was it was kind of an epiphany we had that he kind of uh, gave me the strength to go catch Kate. <laughs> Yeah, so I've changed in a lot of different ways after following Jesus, which I'm sure Johnny can attest to because he saw me back when I was a hot mess. I guess the first thing that Jesus did for me was he helped me with my finances because I was in a lot of debt from college and I had bad spending habits because growing up we never had a lot of money and so when I first made a lot of money I was like woo I can buy whatever I want and I'm just gonna go crazy so I bought all these different things and I really had a hard time learning to undo those spending habits and learning to that there was more to money than just buying stuff for me and so I really was able to look at it in a different way. Um, I learned to give even though I don't have a lot. Like, I think that's a really big heart shift that happens. You know, sometimes people think, oh, I'll give more when I'm rich. Well, it starts with what you give when you don't have a lot. And so that was a really significant switch for me. A big thing that I learned that I really like that I learned, thank you, Jesus, is that I learned to commit my work to the Lord instead of for the approval of people and to be successful and to make a lot of money. That was a really big hard shift for me, but well worth it. I learned what my purpose is on planet Earth. Um, I used to think it was being successful or, I don't know, making a lot of money or just making a name for myself or finding a husband, like who knows. It was just all these, these random things, but now I learned that it's not really about me at all. It's um, leading people to Jesus the way that Johnny led me. And so it's been really fulfilling to um, take this journey and see all the changes that he's made. So I think our strong relationship and bedrock and our relationship in Jesus has really flourished our marriage. And I'm sure you'd probably agree with me that uh, we probably won't still be together if it weren't for our shared faith. Um, you agree with that probably? 100%. <laughs> One of the differences with our relationship compared to my previous relationships would be that whenever something got hard, I would be like, you're annoying and I'm leaving and I don't want to deal with you anymore and I don't want to face any of these problems and it's all your fault and goodbye. <laughs> like I just, um, that was my mindset. And sometimes it maybe still can be that way, but it's gotten a lot better, hopefully. Yes, it has gotten a lot better. <laughs> um, but that, that's the biggest thing that I like about our relationship is that he forces me as much as I don't want him to. He forces me to like look at problems and work through them instead of just running the other direction and just getting out of there. There's been times already in our marriage that for us have been, if we don't lift this up to God, we're done. So I think what we've been doing a really good job of um, and what I hope maybe we can be an example to for others is um, just letting God control your marriage. Well, last summer we both made the decision to get baptized and for me it was really a push because of our Honduras mission trip that we did in July. The people in Honduras, the Hondurans can be so happy with so little simply because of their faith in Jesus to me was unbelievable and so that like you mentioned that was really the the push I think both of us had to to take that next next step and, and commit our lives to Jesus by being baptized but it was amazing it was so cool like when when it happened I remember Sam like put me under the water and I don't know I just like felt this warmth around me I know it was the water but it felt like I don't know a hug from Jesus yeah when you come up it's an it's a new life and it's um, it was our next step and it was, yeah, it was amazing. It was a no-brainer. I just was like, how can I not do this? If I've seen everything that Jesus has done for me so far, why would I not be able to commit my whole life to him and see what else he has in store for me and what other adventures he'd take me on?